Hello my people, welcome back to J6 Flips. We're getting a late start today. It is Monday, we shipped out all the weekend stuff. We've already organized and edited some video. It's time to shop. So it's just afternoon on Monday. We're at the Super Thrift Store in Reseda on Sherman Way. It's two stories, so we got some time to look through thoroughly and hopefully find some things to flip online for a profit. Thank you. So they still have a bunch of these like I predicted. When you price them at $8.99 each and you have all of these, they're not gonna go at that price. Just because they're new with tags doesn't mean they're gonna sell, so. They've marked them down to $5.99 for now, but we'll see. They're gonna have to drop them down lower than that. Pebble Beach Polo. Oh, it's got the Golf Links thing on there. So this is a little bit different. Pebble Beach does make a bunch of polos, um, but this is different because it has the Golf Links logo on there. It's not just a regular Pebble Beach brand polo. So helpful that it also has a new tag there. So for four bucks, that's a pickup. Stephen Allen, Made USA. This just has fancy clothing company written all over it. It's wrinkly, which is probably why it's still here. But unless it's damaged somewhere, it's coming with us. Yeah, we can iron this out. Perfect. And they had dropped the price, so it's been here a while. Nice brand to keep an eye out for, though. This thing's pretty nice, too. Adidas brand goalie jersey with the pads no stains not sure why this is here but i'm glad it's a larger size it is large this one come with us too no way peter millar quarter zip a little long sleeve got the valencia country club on there not ideal but Still in good shape and people just like golf stuff if it was a company logo i think i saw rad resale say something similar where if it's like a company logo i wouldn't get it but it's still golf related so i will here's a brand that a lot of people pick up the harley davidson this one might be worth it i'm just not gonna mess with it because it's seven bucks it's kind of basic harley like some of the older stuff i could see why people love that but I didn't ever really pick up a lot of it unless it's really unique. I think a while ago I sold one that has like a long sleeve with the dragon on it. I didn't mind grabbing that. That was a cool one. But this is just kind of a plain and long sleeve polo. I just don't see anyone riding a Harley rocking this thing. This is what I would consider a pretty hideous shirt, but for whatever rich reason, Tory Richards sells well. Even some of these silly looking shirts. This feels really old. This tag's not gonna help us. Well, at least we got a style number there, so we can check that, but five bucks. I'm actually not gonna bring this. This the design is just not very cool looking, so I'm gonna leave it, but Tory Richard is the brand to keep an eye out for. So this logo is Dragonfly Clothing, but people didn't know because it's been here a while. It's been dropped down in price. I love that it's an XL. That's gonna help it sell. Gold, Dragons, and Crowns. That's gonna be a good pickup. I think there's even a crest in there, so we're definitely picking this up. See, here's the difference between the links. Here's Pebble Beach Performance. So this is different. This doesn't have this logo with the links on it. Big difference. Here's a brand I avoided in a long time, but I'm not sure why. The colors aren't my thing and the designs aren't my thing, but people love them, so it's got cool buttons. It's got the paisley, it's got this cool embroidery, and it's three bucks. Gotta get that. It's actually clean. This is like a pajama shirt at $2.55. Again, been sitting here no longer this is just a dope old shirt from san marcos it's a baseball like got the v from like a baseball jersey you would have but there's no logos on it so i'm not sure what team this was or what schools would have these colors but i think i'm gonna take it for four bucks this is an interesting baseball thing. barcelona bandits armada it's a large mike and brand clean bands are still good i have to get this thing especially for a dollar fifty or a dollar sixty it's gotta be worth more than that
Okay, so quick story time about this jacket. I only found one link that looked anything close to it, and it was a link to a recreational softball team that apparently dominated the 1990s. Somebody wrote a book about it, most likely a player on the team, but really cool to see that this jacket was on the cover of that book. Everyone on the team is wearing it. You can see it right here. A very cool find, but we're not even sure what it's worth. Was this team that popular that this will sell for hundreds of dollars, or is this jacket only valuable to people who were in the starting nine? Either way, couldn't leave it for a dollar sixty. What do you think this thing will fetch? Leave it in the comments. So I've never seen one of these before, but just a quick search. You see, obviously the tag says "Not a Bag." That's the name of it. Smart, simple, made to be seen. So it turns into a backpack. But you can also carry it as a tote, and it's got the reflective thing on there. They sell for like twenty-seven bucks new. You can see their German Design Award winner in twenty sixteen. Twenty-seven bucks new. I think I. Probably be able to sell it for 20 bucks on eBay. Still brand new, unopened packaging. Should be easy flip and easy to ship. All right, so I didn't end up even going upstairs. Upstairs is only kids stuff and toys, uh, some sporting goods, but uh, this is what I got, two bags of clothes. I mean, that's pretty good for the 40 bucks we spent. I mean, you saw this Robert Graham shirt actually might go for close to that. Because it's so colorful, because of the embroidery and because of the paisley, um, should get close to that. And this button-up shirt is surprisingly popular too. Stephen Allen one, so that'll probably cover the whole bag. Everything else is profit, so definitely a successful trip. All right, so we're down the street now in our Goodwill. This is the one where we have the uh, people, corporate people were in here recently. Let's see if they bump the prices up. Saw this tag, got a little excited, but it is a boy's size. It's seven bucks, not really worth it for kid's size. Usually adult ones will sell over 20, these sell like 15 bucks, so not enough room there. Just going through the pants quickly for just feeling, and I find two Muggsy jeans. I've got the style number on there, so that'll help. It's got that stretchy feel, just nice quality, so you can kind of feel it. And the tags look cool, so they want 15 for it, both of them. But they sell about 30, so... And the sell through rate's amazing. I think it's like, I think I saw two listed and seven sold, so. Uh, the only thing is the size. It's on the, near the style tag, 28.32. That is a skinny, tall jean. They're not on special. I'm gonna leave these. The sell through rate's good, but size 28. It's giving you a hard sell. This is a cool shirt. It's a little stained or else I would get it, but it's a, This Is Us, the show. It's a kind of copying because they're big Steeler fans in there. They're copying the Color Us jerseys as merch, which is pretty cool. Uh, would be a good deal at six bucks. I'm pretty sure they were selling like 50 bucks when they were new. This merch is stained, so I'm not gonna take it. Good thing is I just saw this, Gymshark. It's a good brand to flip. The only one at six bucks. This is a special one. Whitney Simmons. Okay, so the gym stuff does sell, but I don't see any long sleeve. Probably because it's hot out, so it's a lot of short sleeve stuff selling right now, but I did see one that sold here. Price 30 sold on an offer, so maybe 25 there. I'm willing to take it and wait on it. So here's a cool shirt. Patagonia Capoline. They want 10 bucks for it. I mean, it'd probably sell for 20. This is interesting. The stitching's legit. We got the 2005 champion patch. Yeah, it's gonna be worth more than that. Just check out the new rack and check these out. A pair of Patagonia shorts, different colors. They want 13 on each of these. Might still be worth it. Let's look them up though. Right off the top, looks like we got these, the $30 ones. These are pretty sweet. They even got little pockets back here for goo or any water or whatever. Whoa, river? We don't have anything cool like that, but that one was 100 bucks. 30, 40, 30, 40, 30. Yeah, we gotta get both of these. I'm just cruising through the women's trying to find something to stand out. This one's worthless. This one's suede, navy blue. I don't know what this embroidery is or if it's gonna ruin it, but I'm pretty sure this is the same jacket. $300 jacket with this random design on it. I think it's worth getting still. They want 20 for it. It's literally over 200 bucks everywhere. And this brand is good, so it's gotta be worth it, right? So now that I've looked through most of the sections and seen the prices on a lot of the stuff, 
it does seem like they're starting to catch on with a lot of the reselling prices like something like this used to slip through the cracks now i'm pretty sure they're just on top of it and trying to get the most bang for their buck on the donations they're getting which is understandable i don't have to buy this i will but i wish it was still the older prices where they were kind of just pricing it all even you could tell they're picking and choosing now maybe some of the bigger brands but it's just like the other goodwills now who knows i'm sure i've just been lucky here i feel like i got a nice a lot of nice things today uh, it's just cool that i'm still finding things here so i end up spending 60 bucks but this jacket is going to go for more than that even with the logo i'm pretty sure i can get something close to that and then the patagonia shorts each could be 30 bucks a pop so just some nice profits overall all right folks it's middle of the day middle of the week and we're gonna see if the goodwill bins has anything for us we haven't been there in a while when um we just haven't made the time to get out there and the time has presented itself so we'd be silly to not take advantage and see if we can find some things to flip so let's go so it's 1202 on wednesday we'll see if we can't fill up this savers bag with some flips This is kind of sad. They've been seeing the Twitch socks on here. Former Ellen DeGeneres DJ. There's a couple of sets over there, but I left them. Rich Gannon, Reebok. That's pretty rough shape. I'm gonna leave that. Here's a miscellaneous shirt from 2006. And at the bins, you take it. So here's a shirt that was inside out. I saw the tag, and that looks like something that would be worth looking up. I'd say it was. I'm in line to pay and I see a seat over here. It is a legit unicycle. Tires might be flat. In here seems good. Porker, Bico, unicycle. Probably the smallest haul of all. Four items. This shirt's gonna be the best shirt. New with tags, pants. And this Hawaiian brand tattoo parlor shirt, which is old, looks cool. They don't sell them anymore. Maybe someone needs a replacement. Either way, bins prices, I'm bringing it. All right, so we didn't really even get close to filling this thing. Uh, we ended up spending nine bucks, but again, that shirt alone is gonna be worth it. Um, probably about the same I would have pulled at a regular thrift store with less dollars spent. So add it to the pile. All right, folks, so just to reflect a little bit on how that went compared to my usual mornings in there, um, it definitely felt different. There was a lot more of the vintage kids in there grabbing all those kinds of items and then the families grabbing their items as usual that I usually see in the mornings. Um, it did feel packed and there were a little bit, only a few carts left. So uh, for the most part, everyone had already had their camp set up and were hanging out um, and waiting for the new, new bins to come out. Um, that was the main difference I really noticed from the mornings is that um, the bins were coming out a lot faster. So they usually take out a whole row and replace it with fresh stuff and that was happening a lot quicker than it does in the morning so that might be one of the benefits of being there in the middle of the day slash afternoon but um, it also did seem more packed so uh, i do prefer the mornings but it was worth at least coming out and looking i hadn't been in a while so it was nice to get back in there and i do plan on being there more often because again i spent nine dollars today um, that shirt alone should at least get 40 maybe 50 bucks so i definitely reinvigorated my interest in being there, so I'm definitely gonna be back there again soon. Oh.